Hi guys. So I'm going to do another car vlog if I can keep this still enough, which I probably can't. Anyway, I found a diary of mine from 2018 and I made it myself. This is the time when I was making uh, traveler's notebooks and stuff. And I cannot believe how much I filmed in 2018. It was ridiculous. Anyway, just another complaint. Do you know, right, I have had a medium caramel iced frappe from McDonald's. It is full of ice. That's that's the only bit I could have dr I've drank because this is full of ice and it is going everywhere. It's dripping everywhere. It was sticky when I picked it up, so I had to put a thing round it so I, all my steering wheels sticky. <laughs> It's just one of them things. Did you all enjoy my video? I thoroughly enjoyed doing the what's in your bag. I really did. That's what I want this channel to be. Just enjoying myself, enjoying filming, enjoying editing, enjoying making you lot laugh. It's so much different than my other channel because I can't really do that. Well, I, I do. I try not that I try a bit. I'm just dopey anyway. So things happen. Um, but I just like to make everybody laugh. I just I love that. I love that. So I don't know, know about anybody else in the UK, but we've just had our gas and electric bill through. Oh, my God. With that and the water bill, I don't know how we're going to pay it. It's ridiculous how much these things have gone up. And this, you're supposed to live in between. How? How, would, how is anybody supposed to live in between paying these bills? It's absolutely ridiculous. Same as my husband said. Yes, the war's going on. And yes, gas has had to go up because of the war. But nothing's happened with electric. It's like... Again, I'm not going into the ins and outs of um, the government and politics and this lot. It's like they've, the government have been like, <clears throat> all right, we can't really get more money off these people now with gas because it's summertime. They're not using the heating or the, the gas fires or whatever. So we'll stick it on electric. Why don't we stick it on electric? I cannot believe for two of us in in a two-bedroomed bungalow that we use this much gas is phenomenal sorry for shouting sorry for shouting i'm just like anyway apart from that uh, my daughter-in-law is a caller um she asked me if i wanted to do a fair i'm going to do a fair oh my god i can't believe it i'm going to do a fair so i think it's the 14th or 16th of next month and um, it's like a fun, fun day out type thing. So, um, my son's going, my grandson's going, all the parts of Ashley's family are going. So it should be a really good day. So yeah, I'm selling my resin pieces and, um, Abby is selling her Meltsies. Uh, so that should be, I'm hoping that'll be a good day. Then at least we can pay the gas and electric bill. <laughs> oh my good God. I tell you, these, the, I don't know, I, I don't, I just don't know. You've got to laugh because if you don't laugh, you'll cry. Oh shit, how is this wagon going to get up here? He's blo literally blocking the road off. <gasps> what's he doing? Oh, he's asking for directions. Oh, I can't remember what I was going to say now. But yeah, if you're anywhere near Stoke-on-Trent or where, because I think it's around Stoke and you want, wanting a good day out and you can come and say hello. Because I'll be there selling my wares. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, I'm, I'm nervous because my, my maths has never been what you would say. Um, what's the word I'm after? Up to scratch, like ever. If I need anything to do with money back and stuff like that, I ask guys. So yeah, but that I'm really looking forward to. So there's that going on. Holly's going on holiday for ten days. So I won't see him for 10 days, which is, I know he'll enjoy himself. There's loads of people going. He's going with his mummy. So, so there'll be a, a few people going there. So I'll miss Harley. The other thing I just wanted to say is give me some ideas of what you want me to do. I'm into the funny videos. So if, if you've got any ideas of what I can do to make a funny video, please leave a comment. 
um because as i say I, I loved making that one i love it oh my god i can't tell you i i watched it like five or six times in a row and i was still making myself laugh <laughs> it's like it's like telling telling your own telling a joke and like laughing at your own joke joke and teaching you're not supposed to do <laughs> i'm supposed to do that <laughs> any hoodles i don't know what else i've got to say i know i know some people have given me um oh that was what i was going to say so our nhs oh i'm having a good bitch today i got told it's a very long story which i won't bore you with but i got told i was going to have my cortisone injections in both shoulders yesterday because i can't move this shoulder more than this and this one isn't as bad um and then i was supposed to have physio on them after Anywho, also I went to my appointment, which I was very excited about, and no lie, because I haven't slept in bed for about three months. My shot, I can't lie on my side because of my shoulders, and I can't lie on my back because of my back. So we've got a reclining settee, so I sleep on the settee. Um, so I was very excited to have them. Like you, you can't understand how excited I was to have these little pricks in my shoulders. <laughs> Sorry, mother. So I got there. We had somebody Bailey sit. So we didn't have to bring Bailey. And we got there. And I said, got an appointment for cortisone injections. Oh, we don't do them here. It must be upstairs. And there was a lad sitting at the back. And he says, are you having them done by, by a lady? I said, no, a man. And the bloke says, oh, that's me. I said, okay. And then the, the receptionist says, I didn't know you did cortisone injections. He says, I don't. I'm not kidding you. When I went, went, by the time I got from the reception area to a seat, I was bawling my eyes out because I was so disappointed because I know I've just got to wait now because I'm on a waiting list to have my cortisone injections done so I can't go bad you know everything I do hurts me <sighs> anyway um that is because I got a phone call about three four weeks ago saying I've got an appointment for your cortisone injections you can either go this this uh hospital or which was miles away or the one where nearer where I live, and I said, "Oh, I'll do the." Anyway, they don't do them, do they? So we've done. Gaz did a load of ringing round yesterday because I was really depressed yesterday. I was really, really down. Um, and he he brought us in his room and he started talking to me, and I was still upset. Um, bearing in mind he, do, he doesn't know me from Adam, and I was just really upset. Um, and he says it could be a while that you're on the waiting list. I said, if I don't get him soon, I'm going to commit Harry Carey. Bearing in mind, he doesn't know me. I wasn't saying it to be serious. And then he, he stands up and goes in front of me and says, I am a little bit worried about your mental health. I'm like, oh, for God's sake, I maybe shouldn't have said that. He says, um, can I maybe suggest going to see somebody? I said, Luke, I said, all the pain I have, I cope really well with it. I'm usually like a pretty happy person. Probably not what my husband would say but there you go i think i am um so this is just a massive letdown and he said okay so he was going to leave it there but yeah, yeah i think he was pushing for the mental health part of it which pretty scared me a little bit because like i think i cope pretty well for all, what i've got wrong with me but anyway that's about it really i just wanted to come with an update and just tell you a little bit about what's been going on in my life uh what's got i've got coming up give me some ideas of what to do uh, so yeah, hope you're still enjoying these videos guys. Um, this is just me. I This is just me. No airs and graces, just me. Anyway, I'm going to leave you to your rest of your day. Thank you for watching this one guys. Love you loads. Mwah.